Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who has a severe cramps at nighttime. Let's see what causes these cramps at night and how to cure them for good. Okay, we have Jim here. How you doing, Jim? Fantastic. Okay, great. Even better couldn't handle it. <laughs> okay, good, good. So <laughs> now we're gonna. This nail uh, has gotten worse now. Looks like it's got fungus going. So I'm gonna cut it and then grind it down, and then we're gonna send this to sample it. Also has this. Is this painful, Jim? No, no, no. Okay, he's got a corn on the tip of the toe, which is, we're gonna clean that out as well. That's the nail looks pretty good. So and there's a corn on the left foot between the baby toe and the little toe. You know? Oh, this one over here. Yeah, you keep. Watching. Oh, right there, right there. Yeah, yeah. And how about this side? Yeah, yeah. It's like right there. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, right there, huh? On the little toe. Yeah, so there's a corn right here that's also painful. So I'm going to clean out that one and, and this side. So, okay, so I know you're telling me you're having some leg pain on yes. the on the left side only or the both feet? Uh, left side worse. Worse, but the, so do you feel that when? When, at nighttime or? Uh, when I'm walking and it's very restless at night. Oh, I see. It always happens at nighttime? Yeah. yeah, if I go like this, uh -huh. uh, like cross, and, and so I have to. What do you mean? When you do that, it's 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 worse. Yes. Okay. I I try to get comfortable. Uh huh. So what what do you have to do to make it better? Do you, have, do you walk around and does uh, it does it improve or sometimes, no? Sometimes sometimes I get out of bed and, and, and uh, kind of like a cramp. Mm hmm. Or like a cramp. Like gets tight, uh, gets tight, or you get tired, or like fatigue, pain. Uh, pain. Pain. And I take leg cramps pills occasionally. Not oh, every, not every day. For the cramp pills, does it does it help? Yes, it does. Oh, it does. Okay, so you're getting cramps. So when you get cramps at night time, it could be several things. Okay. So it could be circulation issue, at which I'm gonna test you. We have a machine that tests circulation. So we'll do that. And then um, it could be a magnesium deficiency or from your cholesterol medication. I, I know you take the Lipitor, right? Uh -huh. You've been taking that for a long time. And when you take Lipitor, cholesterol medication can decrease the energy production of your cells. So you have to take this en uh, enzyme called coenzyme Q10, right? Have you heard of that before? I, I have heard of it. You've heard of it, right? Have you yeah. taken that? No. I have not. Okay, so you you have to be taking that. When you're taking statin or the cholesterol medication, you have to take the um, CoQ10, we call it, because if you don't do that, then you're going you're gonna to get a lot of muscle aches. And, and that's but, over the counter, isn't it? Yes, it's just supplements. It's yeah. supplement, but yeah. it, okay. it is the enzyme that makes the... Um, um, the your sugar to produce uh, your energy ATP we call it but but uh, statin medications or cholesterol medication can prevent that enzyme from working okay. so then then you don't produce any energy and then that causes a lot of body aches and muscle aches and things like that right okay. so it's very important actually for all the people taking uh, cholesterol medication to take Coenzyme Q10, it's one of the most important thing that uh, should be done, okay? So I'm gonna write that down for you. So you're gonna go get that, and then we're gonna do the circulation test. And I'm gonna put you on uh, some minerals like magnesium. Are you taking magnesium separately? No, I take two uh, vitamins uh, over the counter. What kind of vitamins are you taking? Oh, Doc. <laughs> it's on the side of a bottle. <laughs> it's on the side of a bottle. I think, you know. Is it? D3. Oh, vitamin D, okay. Yeah. That's good. And then, uh, like calcium? Yes. Oh, you do, okay. So, calcium is important, but um, magnesium is magnesium more important because calcium is in just about every um, food that you take. Anything crunchy that has uh, calcium. And magnesium, uh, most people are deficient in. And magnesium is what we call a relaxation mineral. So when you don't have enough magnesium, then your body cramps up 
especially at night time. So those are the three issues that we need to look into, like lack of magnesium or um, cholesterol medication causing um, not enough energy, so we need to take coenzyme Q10, or circulation issue, because if that happens at nighttime, it could be circulation as well, okay? Okay. So the leg cramps are very common. Obviously, medications help that, but that's, that's, not, um, I'm sorry. that's not what you want to do, okay? All the time, right? So it's very important that, um, that you, um, you don't take medication all the time. It's see if you can find the cause of it, and that's how you want to fix the problem, okay? That's correct. Okay. So I just got your corns cleaned up. So how long have you been getting these uh, cramps? It's been a while? Yeah. Like, how long? I, I, I don't know, Doc. I've just been a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You've had it for a while? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna get this nailed down really good, okay? And I'm gonna send some of these things to laboratory today. It's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word cramps in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is my new machine that sprays a little bit of water. You feel a little bit cool? Yeah. I got a little bit of water coming out, so when I'm grinding it down, it gets all the dust out of the way with the, with a little bit of a little bit of water and alcohol to kind of clean out the area. Other than that, you're you're doing good, right? I know you walk a lot, right? You you say you're walking about. I don't walk anywhere like I used to. But, uh huh. I walk. You know, I cut it back from five miles to three miles. Oh, three miles? You cut it down a little bit? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why well, you get tired? Uh, I'm getting mature. I'm not getting old. I'm not getting getting mature. <laughs> you're getting more mature, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. If you're three years old, I can walk three to four miles. I pay the Lord for that. Yeah, no, you're doing great. Yeah. So you do it all at once? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. That's hard to do all at once. Yeah. People kind of divide them up, you know? They, yeah, I, they... I have a, a three, four, three mile, four mile, five mile up in my neighborhood. So. Uh -huh. Just around the neighborhood? Yeah. Pretty flat? Flat. Uh -huh. But when you do that, your legs don't hurt. It's uh -huh. just at nighttime. Well, when I walk, when I walk, I walk heavy. You know, my left foot is fresh, and I can feel the back of my leg when I boom, boom. Oh, you feel it, huh? Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, it could be your foot too. You know, not having support. Do you have a support on your on your shoes? No, I do not. Yeah. I have good shoes. Yeah, good shoes may not be enough. I'll I'll uh, take a look. Okay. Okay. And then you may need some support uh, when you're walking. So do you walk in the morning or when do you walk? Usually in the morning. Once in a while in the evening. As soon as you wake up, that's what you do? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Sometimes I'll, I'll walk in the evening after I'm always going to the dark. Uh huh. At the bus on my daughter. <laughs> yeah. And she's got me on her phone, so if I fall or something like that, she will go in. She will go in. Oh, okay. You got to do something. I didn't want that in the first one. She, she knows you are, I don't want that. So, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, she's worried, yeah. But, uh, but I mean, you don't fall, though, right? Do you no, fall? No, I'm, I'm very, very careful not to fall. Yeah. I just step off the curb. Yeah. I walk the extra things and go down the real trail ramp. Yeah. Yeah. I know you have to you have to pay attention because the car's coming and there's a lot of action going on outside. So it's, a, it's a high high risk activity when you're walking outside. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I am very very careful. Yeah, very good. Okay, so we got the callus down pretty well. Okay. 
And we got this nail down pretty good, you see? Okay. Yeah, so I'll send the, um, the nail to the laboratory to see if you have fungus, okay? Okay. All right, very good, Jim. Thank you for allowing us to film you today. Thank you for watching my video. As you can see on this video, cramps at night can be caused by circulation problems, magnesium deficiency, or not taking CoQ10 supplement while being on a cholesterol medication. Getting a circulation test to assess the circulation issue along with taking magnesium and CoQ10 supplement can improve or cure your nightly cramps. Until then, get educated, be empowered, encourage others today.